Today's video is being sponsored by Instant Gaming. Play smart, pay less. Thank you so much to Instant Gaming for sponsoring today's video. With being a console gamer my entire life, I've only recently moved over to PC gaming and Instant Gaming has been a lifesaver in allowing me to purchase games I've always wanted to play at a reasonable price. Instant Gaming offers discounts on all the most current titles and has massive discounts on our favourite Frontier games including Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo and Jurassic World Evolution. Make sure to click the link above or below in the description to get some amazing games at affordable prices. Again, thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video, but without further ado, let's hop into the video, shall we? Hello everybody, it's Matty coming at you with another Planet Zoo console episode. Welcome back to Eden Gardens Zoological Park. Now, you may all be wondering, Matty, what is the matter? You don't sound like your happy, normal, jubilant self. I'm sad, okay? After reading the comments for the last episode and watching it back, I realised that one of my wolves died. We've now had deaths in the zoo and it's traumatic, all right? Leave me alone. It's really sad. I don't know how I missed it, but they've gone. She died. I've got no memorial plaque to put up because for some reason it didn't show up, but there we go we're now having deaths in the park it's the circle of life as quick as we have new life we have death okay right compose myself it's gonna be okay it'll be fine we'll get some new wolves in here today to rectify the problem because i don't think we've got any more males left so we're gonna need to put some more males in here now the plan for today's episode is we are going to put some free roaming peafowls into the zoo and the way that I'm going to do this is I was advised by a member of my community, Sparrow838, who is an amazing YouTuber. It is criminal. She's only got one and a half thousand subs. It's an absolute joke. Make sure to go over and check out her content. She does amazing builds. Her commentary is spot on. But promise me one thing, once you realise how good she is, don't forget about me, okay? Go over, make sure to leave a sub, say hello from me, and then come back here, alright? Watch both of us, it's fine. But she's amazing, thank you ever so much Sparrow for giving me the advice. But that's the plan for today, we're going to put some free range peafowls just walking around the zoo casually. So, let's go and give it a try, shall we? Right, so here we are back in the zoo once again. So in between episodes, I've just done a little bit of tidying up, mostly just around the backstage areas, bringing that roof tile piece coming around the back, putting the fence there to stop the guests from getting around. One thing that I realised after the last episode is the solar panels are rubbish. They give absolutely no coverage for electric whatsoever. So instead, we're going to use the wind turbines as they give a wider range of electric coverage and they're still greener than what the generators are. Unfortunately, them solar panels, they just didn't work. Their range is so, so small. I'd have to have them everywhere just to make it work. But before we look at doing these peafowls, let's have a look who we've got in the park. So we've got Ricky Lad, who appears to be just leaving the zoo. Um, bye, Ricky. I hope you had a lovely day. Bye. And we've also got one other person. We've got FS Club, who is a huge farming simulator YouTuber. Thank you so much for reaching out to me. It was an honor to be contacted by such a large YouTuber. He's got like 100,000 subs. I was a little bit blown away when he messaged me and said like amazing content. I was like, oh, but yes, right. I had some comments in the last episode telling me how to address the paint tool for these warthogs. So let's just select one of them. Not the bush, Matty. Select the warthog. There we go. Right. Oh, look at that. Welfare. What is going on? There, meal quality. Right. Get a keeper in there. We need to get that topped up straight away. Keeper requested. Come on. Chop, chop. I think we're going to need some more staff, aren't we? I think now with the amount of exhibits that we have got, we now need to look at more staff. So we've got two vets, one keeper, two mechanics, one security guard, one caretaker. So we need to look at adding some more staff. The zoo is turning a profit. So let's utilize this moment to get some more staff in. So we'll hire one more keeper, I think. And I think we need to look at start setting some zones up. So I think we might do that in the next episode. We'll get two more keepers. I think we'll get one more mechanic. We'll get one more security guard. And I think we'll get one more vet. 
and that should be enough for now what we will also do is we will actually train up the staff that we currently have i don't believe that the staff that i just hired can be trained just yet but we will select train all staff for the ones that we had already that weren't quite level five we'll try and keep on top of that to try and get all of our staff to level five and i think we'll look at putting a new keeper hut behind the warthog enclosure so they haven't got to walk too far to get the food for these guys but let's have a look at this paint tool so they need a little bit more long grass so the comments were telling me that because i've got such a large exhibit border it will still count towards the paint tool so we'll reduce the size of that we'll keep it at a hundred percent and let's just put this back here and that is working oh that is fantastic to know that's really beneficial i didn't know that so that's really helpful thank you ever so much to the people who commented telling me how to fix that and there we go the terrain is now back up to 100 percent their welfare yep that is fantastic so we just need to get the keeper in here to get them fed we need a couple more enrichment items so i think we'll have a quick look at that before we start moving on to the peafowls so i think we'll put a cardboard box just inside the hard shelter just inside here so we'll drop that down a little bit just to hide the disc and we've also got the barrel feeder so we'll put one of them over here and then same again we'll drop that below the ground to hide the disc there we go and they have got 98 percent enrichment that is brilliant so their welfare should be really high now they should be really happy yeah look at that fantastic right so come on why is the keeper not coming right keeper assigned let's call them urgently come on chop chop we need to put a keeper hut behind here don't we so they haven't got to walk as far to get the food to bring all the way down here so we'll put a keeper hut just back here so go into the facilities and then keeper hut and let's pop it back here we'll turn that around so it's facing the right way and we'll place that just down there i think that's connected to the path already we'll just delete that roof tile yes it has right so let's start on this peafowl enclosure so what we're going to do is we'll first have a look what they're going to need so we'll look in the zoopedia and let's have a look at their requirements so indian peafowls there we go why are they called peafowls in the game can somebody explain this to me because in the uk we call them peacocks what is the difference between a peacock and a peafowl is it the peacocks are the males and peafowls are the females i'm not sure is it maybe a translation thing so in america they are called peafowls and in the uk we call them peacocks i'd love to know the difference because i always refer to them as peacocks so if i call them peacocks in the video it's the same thing but what we're going to do is we're going to start putting this habitat down where we want them to go so we'll put the gate just here and we'll use the invisible barriers and we'll start going around where we want these peafowls to free range in the zoo because we are going to still need a border you cannot just place them down and just let them do whatever they want you are still going to need to put a border where you would like them to go so what we'll do is we'll follow this around here we'll come down to the fence and then we'll go around the rest of the zoo where we want them to free range With our habitat border now done, we can now start working out how to keep them in this area. Because you may be wondering, those are invisible barriers. What's going to stop them from just walking around and running amok in my zoo? We need a way to be able to keep them in that habitat border, but still allow the guests and the staff to be able to navigate the zoo without being restricted. So what we're going to use is the elephant grass and this is what sparrow told me to do apparently you could do this on the pc and i was testing this to see if we could do it on the console and it works so we're going to use the elephant grass just here we're going to start off using the two meter strip what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that add to building is turned off we don't want that turned on i don't want it to try and add to any of the roof tile pieces that i've got because it's going to make it a lot harder later on and now comes the important bit and the big 
time saver, which is going to make this job a lot easier. We're going to select the two of them and add them to a scenery group. And then we're going to edit this group. So everything all comes together in one big group. And now we're going to swap to the four meter elephant grass. And what we're going to do is we're going to work away around the entire invisible border, putting all of these around. I overlap them a lot to ensure that the peafowls would not be able to escape through these. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that down there and then just following this invisible border, let's come all the way around here. It doesn't need to be quite perfect, but you do need to ensure that they are overlapping to prevent them from escaping. With the perimeter all now secure, it's just a question of selecting the entire lot and then dropping it below the ground. This will prevent the peafowls from passing these borders, but the guests and the staff will still be able to walk over them as normal. So we're gonna drop that down just so the top of them isn't sticking up through the ground. We don't really want to see any of that. That looks good enough to me. And let's place that there, just like that. And now let's get these peafowls or peacocks into the zoo. We need to get the staff path because otherwise they're not gonna be able to access that habitat. We'll connect that just up there. And let's go into the animal trading section and let's get our peafowls. So in there, we've got four of them. We'll select all of them and we'll send all to zoo. As we're waiting for the peafowls to be delivered, oh, hang on, we just need to fix that call mechanic. There we go. Oh, he's right there. That was swift. Well done. Good job. Right, as we're waiting for the peafowls to be delivered, I think we need to have a quick look at the wolves because I'm sure we've only got females left. We have. We've only got three females and two of them are elderly, Luke. So they have not got long left. So I think we need to look at replacing some of these wolves and get them breeding again. So let's come down here. We'll come down to the timber wolves and let's just have a quick look at their requirements. So we can have up to 12. We can have two males. Okay, I think we'll only go for the one male for now, I think. And neither of them are very good, are they? I think we'll go with that bottom one and then we'll also grab these two females and let's send all of them to the zoo. And let's hopefully start getting some more wolves breeding again. Right, where are these peafowls? Oh, here they come. Look at all the staff running with the boxes. Right, we've got peafowls in the zoo. We've got our first one, let's have a look. Is this one of the males or the females? It's one of the males. Oh, they're beautiful birds, aren't they? They're absolutely gorgeous. And I love the fact that we can now have them free roaming in the zoo. Because certainly in the UK, you will have a lot of the zoos in the UK that have peacocks that just free roam. Right, we have got some escapable areas here. So I was concerned this might be a problem. So we are going to need to select that entire border once again. That was the beauty of having it all in one group. It's going to make it so much easier to address these issues. So we'll try and just grab them. There they are. We'll deselect that. And then we've just got that border selected. So we'll raise that back up again and we'll address them problem areas. So we had the three areas, didn't we? So we had over here. So we'll just put a couple more there. I wonder maybe if that could even possibly be the rock and they could use the rock to then jump over possibly. It's, it's just like the otters all over again. I'm getting flashbacks here. So we'll put them in the front there. And then we also had a problem over there. So if we just grab this peafowl just again, yeah, just over here. So once again, we'll just grab a couple more 
and we'll copy some more just in that space right there and then we'll go around and we'll try and fix all of these problem areas to make sure that they can't escape so now I've gone around the entire border redoing it hopefully that should sort the problem can you escape now it doesn't look like it. I think we've managed to keep them all in. Right, so what we now need to do is we need to drop this back below the ground again. You have to be so careful with this because if you drop it too low, then they can just escape everywhere. So it's quite a finicky process. You don't want them sticking above the ground, but you also don't want it too low down so they can escape. There's a few just sticking out just there. I think we might just have to go with that and just accept it for what it is let's select the p file once again and can you escape now has that done it right we've still got a problem area there which i think is the step again so rather than trying to go over the step i've just moved them forward a little bit just so we're not going over that and i think that should now solve the problem right where um where have they gone um hello Peacocks, where are you? Um, I can't find one. Oh, there's one. Right, there you go. Right, let's grab you. Has that fixed the problem? Hopefully that is it. Because we really need to start addressing their other requirements. We need to put the enrichment items down. We need to put the food and water down. We need to get the hard shelter down. So hopefully this is the last time of doing this. We'll drop that just below the ground, just there. That should sort that. Let's have a quick look. Please be sorted because I want to move on. That is it. Right, we have done it. We've managed to get them enclosed all in this area. The guests can still walk around. The staff can still walk around. Fantastic. Right, we have got the guests coming up into the staff area. I do not like that. So let's have a quick look here. Look at the pathing there. That looks absolutely awful. The staff will be walking out of the fence right now so we need to address that as well so can we look at changing that to a staff path we can indeed but it looks awful i think i need to go and sort that out it's going to be absolutely boring you don't need to see that in a video so i'm going to go off and try and sort this out wish me luck after around 20 minutes and totally not getting annoyed and angry at the pathing system in Planet Zoo at all, it was fine, don't worry about it, it's sorted. We've now got the male wolf in the wolf enclosure. Let's go and actually have a look at him as well, shall we? So, oh, we've got Oliver. Let's have a look at you, Oliver. Oh, hang on. No, that was, uh, that was the wrong button. Let's try that again. Oh, look at him. He is beautiful. Oh, look at all the cuts and scars on him. Oh, wow. Oh, Oliver, you have been through the wars, bless your heart. Oh, don't worry, we're going to look after you here at Eden Gardens. You're in a happy, safe place now. Oh, bless his heart. I can't believe the detail on him. That was incredible. Right, so now all the pathing is sorted, it should be okay for the P-Files and the staff to just be able to get through. The security guard is now coming through the gates rather than the fence. So the next thing we need to do is sort out the terrain. So very much like what we did with the warthogs at the start of the episode, we're just going to do the paint tool underneath here that you can't even see. So we'll swap that to soil because we don't want to do long grass because that will stick up through the path. So using the soil to just go all the way underneath these roof tiles and we'll increase that soil and decrease the short grass. And we're almost there. If we just do it over here, there we go. Right, perfect, 100% on that. Now we need to do a hard shelter. How am I going to do a hard shelter? Mm, not sure on that one i'll have to have a think about that can we put some of these palm trees down here is that going to be okay or is that just going to make you even more unhappy no that makes you even more unhappy right okay we'll scrap that for now we'll come back to that at a later point we need to sort out their food we need to sort out their enrichment we need to sort out the hard shelter i think what i'm going to do is keep the food and the water in that backstage area because their habitat border runs right up parallel to this fence. So we can use this point as maybe a hard shelter. We can put the food, we can put the water back here and then they can just have that moment of respite from the guests without them all being stared at all the time and guests cooing over them. So if we put the food back there 
and then the water if because we've got the water cleaner right there we could put one of these water pumps can we put it over here towards the rocks no it won't go will it it's obstructed unfortunately that's a shame i would have liked to put it there what about over there no we can put it there but i think it's sticking out a little bit too far for my liking what we could do actually is we could put it behind the warthog enclosure and then we can run a pipe to the building to make it look like it's actually being pumped into this. It's a little bit further away from the building than I would have liked, but I think maybe if we put some pipes there, I think that will sort that. And now, with having the water all the way over there, I think we might also move that food. But we've got this scent marker. Where can we put this? I don't really want... No, it's obstructed there. And I don't really want it showing like that. Oh, I wonder, can we put it under the stairs over here in this corner and hide it? And it will also encourage them to walk up to this area. Let's give that a try. Let's see if we can put it underneath there. I think we can, you know. We can. That is brilliant. Right, and that's going to encourage them to walk all the way up here. So we've got them more free-ranging, rather than just walking around the otters and the warthogs. We've got the sprinkler. Uh, where can we put that? I think for now, I may just chuck it back here, but I think I'll look at maybe moving this or addressing this later on. We're just going to chuck it there for now, just to bring that enrichment up just a little bit, because we need to bring that welfare up right now. And I think the hard shelter can come over here. So we could use, shall we use one of the in-game ones? No, that looks terrible, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks absolutely awful. So what can we use instead? dead let, let let's move this first i don't want that there i think let's move that mm, it's not going to go over there is it we'll just pop that by the water we'll put that over there and then we can bring the hard shelter just coming along here and what shall we use shall we maybe use a metal roof covering i think that could really work let's go into the construction we'll search for metal only to limit it just to the metal items and let's have a look what we've got in here a roof tile piece could really work what about this metal wall piece yeah that's not going to work is it because that's on a grid so that definitely won't work if we go into the roof section and let's just have a look at these slanted roofs um Oh, I'm on the wrong bit. Hang on. Yeah, that's the wrong bit. I don't want that bit. Actually, I need the pitched roofs. There we go. And let's have a look at one of these. I think one of these could work really well. Uh, that's a little bit too big. That's a four meter one. Have they got the equivalent in two meters? Yes, they do. So we've got an asphalt roof there. I didn't really like that one. What about a metal plank? Ah, I like that. So is there a two meter version of that one? Yes, there is. That would work. Uh, we haven't got the angle snap on, but it is aligning to the fence, thankfully. So if we just pop that there, make sure the angle snap is turned on, which it is. We'll turn that up to 30%. We'll rotate that around and then we'll lift that just up there. So it lines up. And I think we'll just back it up just a little bit, just so we've got a little tiny bit of overhang back here. And then line it up just so it looks like it's attached. And then there we go. And come across here. I think we'll just do the three, I believe. And then we can just put a piece of bedding down there. We'd better check the pathing just very quickly to make sure that the staff are not walking through where their bed is going to be. They're not fantastic. So let's go into habitat. And let's get some bedding for them to just put there. So if we put one a little bit away from their food i think so we'll put it over there and then we'll just pop one there as well and does that count as hard shelter is that going to be enough their welfare is shot up let's have a quick look it does hard shelter 100 percent. brilliant so we need a couple more enrichment items so we're going to need to get jonathan Jonathan, we're going to need you to research, please. But I think he's currently researching the warthogs. So as soon as he's finished the warthogs, we'll get him onto these peacocks and start getting a couple more enrichment items for them. But I am really, really happy with that. Let's just have a quick look at the warthogs while we're here. Let's see how you guys are doing. Oh, um, 
Oh no! I've just seen the notification! Oh no! Oh! Oh, I didn't want to see that! No, Fadlan! Oh no! We started off the episode in a sombre manner with the death of the wolf, and we're now going to close out the episode with another death. Oh dear. How many otters are we down to now? I know we had six of them. We're down to four! But we have got males and females. Right, come on guys, you need to start breeding. We're going to have to keep an eye on that because we don't want to run low on otters. But there we go, there is the peafowl just walking around just casually, pooping all over the floor. So hopefully the keepers will go and clean that up. The guests are all gathering around to have a look at them. And that's very much like you have in real zoos, certainly in the UK anyway. You will just have these peafowls walking around, you'll have the guests walking up to them. They just don't care, they're just so chill and relaxed. But I'm really, really happy with that. Thank you ever so much Sparrow for suggesting that. I think it really does add a new element of realism to this zoo. So let me know what you all think down below. In the next episode, we're gonna come back and we're gonna start adding a prairie dog enclosure just up there. Cannot wait, so I will see you all in that episode tomorrow. Until then, take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody!